Um, first up, John, thank you for your time. Thank you for your thank you. PC. Thank you for taking a little bit of time to me about the movie. I absolutely love that. I already watched it okay. like 15 times. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for having me. I need to start, uh, you know, with the first question. I need to start with this, with this topic specifically because I think it's important that we continue to shed some light and put the spotlight on, on the LGBT community. What, is, what does it mean to you personally that you are basically the first open gay character on a Disney movie? I think it's so important. It's so big. It's a monumental, monumental, monumental step. I think it's wonderful and I think hopefully it's just a sign of what's to come. I think hopefully as 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 proud we all are to talk about it, I hope that one day it won't be a conversation anymore and that um it will just be a given that equal representation means equal representation and we represent people of all sexual preferences and all religions and all skin colors and and I think hopefully um Disney being the huge conglomerate that it is can somehow lead the way in in that and and sort of shine a light on it. Hopefully. I mean, I mean, that's, that's what I think that's what I also want. That's what I always do. I always try to put the spotlight on, on everything. And the minority is mm. really important. I want to talk about Artie. Artie was so awesome. Artie was, he, he played, a, you know, he played a big role on Cruella's, you know, uh, big telescope uh, uh, plan. When you got the script, did you were surprised that you were so involved in the main story? Yeah, I was actually because I think I, I, I grew as well. It was it kind of I think I think there was there was less when I first took the role, and then I think it, it grew as we went along with it. And obviously, Craig, the director, is a really big fan of sort of improvisation and sort of being very free with things. So, you know, um, it was amazing, and uh, I I think actually he was really integral to the story. And even if it even if he didn't really come into his own until the sort of latter half of it, I think hopefully the story is not over. Yep, yep. I, I, I really do want to see more of Artie in the sequel, obviously. Um, <laughs> I, I hope so, honestly. I'm just looking for this Me too. In here. <laughs> yeah. You came, you obviously you did theater and you, you have done basically everything, but you, I want to compare theater between movies. What is the big difference yeah. between, between theater and movie, what, in, in your opinion? Uh, the biggest difference between theater and movies is that in theater you're telling a whole story in a day um for me and you, you know you're going to begin you get it has an end so you're uh it you kind of feel like there's a payoff whereas whereas when you do a movie you could do a, one scene in a day that's for, for the, the the very end of the it, there's sort of not a lot of context in 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 movies so uh and you have less control over the final edit whereas in theater if something doesn't work you can always go back tomorrow and try again <laughs> i want to talk about the soundtrack i love the yes. soundtrack i think everyone loved the soundtrack and i want to yeah. talk specifically about how did i want to be your dog come about how, what was your first reaction when they brought the idea hey do this cover how did that come about well i no, I don't really know the conversations that went on behind the scenes, but I think they were just planning on sort of playing it. And then yeah. I think they knew I could sing and so asked me, would I be willing to sing it? I said, yes. And then and then it sort of just happened very organically as most as most things do really. Um, and then before I knew it, I was in Abbey Road Studios recording, recording it. So yeah, I think it just, I think it happened purely, um, by chance but I'm really glad because I there was always supposed to be a fashion show I think they just sort of integrated the performance aspect into it one final question I I, I want to ask this because obviously uh, the product is so big there's so were so many things moving around were you able mm. to keep any props or threat or any stuff like that you you used uh from the from the movie because I mean the the what is makeup and hair styling the wardrobe, everything was so big and so humongous. Mm. I mean, were you able, did mm. you want to, did you mean like, I want to keep this like for, for a momento, like, you were able to keep something? Oh yeah, I wanted to steal everything, um, but I didn't because I thought all the stuff that I wanted to steal, they definitely know it was missing. You know, I don't think I could take that very expensive jacket over there. So I, I just stole a pair of socks. <laughs> um, as in, I will never wear them again. Um, but I took them and um, 
yeah and I just I just I thought well if anyone asked me I'll just say oh, I completely forgot to take them off but no one's asked for them back yet so that's just blame me blame me don't worry I'll blame you yeah I'll tell I'll say you told me to do it it's yeah fine. that's it I have to do it. one <laughs> final question if, if some for somebody that hasn't seen Cruella why do you feel that that they need to see this movie I I, I have my my reasons why why would you personally believe that they, they need to see this movie I think you should see the movie um, because I think for for me, um, I'm such a huge fan of Disney and Disney villains specifically because I think they're always the best part of any Disney story. But I think really the visual spectacle of this movie in a way that is not done with CGI, it's not done with, you know, graphics. It really is the costume, the makeup, the hair, the production design, everything is done with 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 blood sweat and tears it's completely man made i think that that i think that that's rare nowadays and i mm. think um i think it's it's just I, 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 and even the music and the soundtrack like you say i think all elements sort of come together to just create this this masterpiece and it is like it's like a fairy tale but far more edgy so i think i do think it's got something for everyone Yes, I think it, that's been something that I said on my reaction is one of the darkest and most edgiest and most out of the typical Disney movie that you will ever see. And that's, I think that Disney, you know, yeah. just, just, and, you know. Yeah, you know, and, and for me as well. Just watch it for me. If you can't find a reason, just watch it for me. Of course, of course. Why not? Why not? Exactly. Again, John, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for giving me a little bit of time. To no talk worries. About Thanks. Movie that I absolutely love that we already, I've already watched like 50 times. So, and I, and I can't wait to see more of Artie, hopefully in the sequel. So thank you. Thank you for having me.